Right, we are back. It's uh, Wednesday, 4th of October, and we're back at work. We landed back yesterday at Manchester Airport after two and a half weeks in America. Don't want to come back. <laughs> I am ready for immigrating now. Um, time can't come quick enough. Um, trucked everything in truck last night. Truck got back early, so I stayed in truck last night. But we've got a nine o'clock Hartley Pool collection this morning. Empty boxes out of Freightliner Doncaster, so let's go get that on and make our way up to Hartley Pool. So it's 20 past 5 on the Wednesday morning, just making our way around now. Had a really good holiday, went by far too quickly. Um, come back to a cold, bit damp England now in autumn. I'd rather not, but you know, we can't help it. Hopefully not much longer till my visa comes through and I can get out over there. trying to get the truck and seat set up properly how I like it. I said there's been a driver in this for the last two and a half weeks on days. Um, so yeah, we're just making our way around to Freightliner to get this empty container on up to Hartley Pool. Load and that is back down to Freightliner in Leeds. And I don't know what we've got from there. It is a bit windy, the weather is a bit temperamental at the minute, I can feel wind already pushing. Um, so yeah, if it's a shorter week this week, it's a shorter week, it don't matter, it is what it is. We are. I'm tired, like I said, I didn't land back till um, quarter past seven yesterday, so I've been back 24 hours yet. And uh, I feel like I'm ready for another bloody holiday. Car up on left hand side. Yep, and another one coming up. Some things don't change to that. Um, so we'll get round here, get this box thrown on. Hopefully we're not too long in here. And then we'll um, crack on up to Hartlepool. Should be past any traffic now. Clear of the uh, M62, 74 miles away. Got a box on out of Freightliner, it's not the best box. It's got a good floor on it, it's hazardous for picking up, so it's just got, got a bit of a dint in the side of the box, so it intrudes into the container slightly. So hopefully, it's not right up to the side that we're picking up. Probably, probably comes in about three or four inch does the wall but it's not gone through the wall um, like I say it's just got a really really good floor in this box which is why I've which is why I've kept it on with it being hazardous you know I think they could probably they could probably forgive the box coming in a few inch if it's got a really good floor in it so it can support the weight and whatnot um, I've got a slight issue with this truck in that the uh, wing mirrors don't pan round when we're going round roundabouts at the minute. 
So on these dafts with the wing mirrorless, the um, obviously the wing mirrors that you have on trucks and cars, they have a bit of a wider wider view on them all the time. These don't because the screen and these are horizontal. But a vertical, sorry, not horizontal. So um, this, this image is the image is a wide image, but the screen only shows so much at a time because it's limited. So when you're going around a roundabout, it pans the image round and follows some markers that were set on the trailer. And we start the ignition up. Um, I've set them and they just don't follow it round. So we'll get up here and we'll get on a loading bay and give it a good give it a good half an hour without the key in it to get over its temper tantrum of having to do some work again, some proper work. And um, fingers crossed it does sort it out because it is not ideal in the slightest um, these trucks are added up to drive as it is you know when you can't see really where you're going round roundabouts it's not a it's not good obviously we've got the wide image that's displayed at the bottom of the screen the whole time but that's that wide of an image you can't really judge any distance on it so we'll find out when we get up here won't we and hopefully it does right itself Alright, let's see where they want us here. Hiya! Right, there you are. There's a geo reference if you're needing it further down the page underneath the box and seal number. It says something about this. Yeah. Yeah, alright, thank you. Easy job. Spin it round. Another nice easy job to start the week off. We should be able to get straight on that ramp. Mm. The Panopic Gate would make it easier. I think we'll just about manage maybe. Might be even be on a sensor. Look at that, even the gate opens, make it easier. There we go, we'll get back at that. And let's see how rushed we are at reversing. It's not that bad. We're not that bad, it's a nice easy one. open these doors oh god that's cold so I've got to ring office and get a proper reference number once we get on this bay Yeah, so they, they need a proper reference number, so I'll go grab that reference for them and um, I'll give you a shout when we're getting loaded. Right, a little update. We're still here getting, waiting to get loaded. Um, we didn't have the right reference number. We've emailed Maersk, the shipping line, of my office anyway. Um, they emailed back with three references, but didn't say which times they were. So, I was the only container here, so I've said, you know, my office told me to quote the first one, so I quoted the first one, and it, it was, well, it's, it's the right reference number, but married times turned up half an hour later, and quoted the same reference number, so we're all confused here now, so we're waiting back for shippers to get in touch, and hopefully it won't be, so, won't be too long until we get sorted. Right, as you can gather, we're still here. We've just come up to quarter past 11 now. Um, so we had references through 
the two references that Turner's have been given, because we've got two containers today, both of them are wrong. So the reference we've been, we've been given are for tomorrow, but they don't match the booking times. So these are trying to find out now, the customer here from Maersk, what is actually happening because if they turn away, because we've got our container coming soon, the 10 o'clock booking which is running late, if they turn us both away, these are meant to have three containers today. So if they don't load, if they don't find out the right reference numbers from Maersk for these two containers and match up today's ones, and no more containers turn up, these are these are stuck with two containers worth of stock and then they've got to play catch up to try and um, get two containers in to pick them up so it's not a great start to coming back up holiday but well, well, well it is what it is isn't it but it is bloody cold I know that I'm frozen um, so it's just a case now of sitting and waiting again and we are finally out just come up to port to one. That were a long, long one to start the week off with. But we're loaded and we're away. It's only about six ton on this, so it's nice and light as well. Which ain't overly good with it being windy, but it means I can make Skelton Lake services to go get some diesel because lad didn't fill it up for me. I left it near enough full. We've got it with like 50% diesel left in it, so oh well. Um, Faster with 1400, 2 p.m. BBS down at Leeds. Um, I'm not sure what they've got me planned. So they were going to email it through. So when we next get a chance to look, I'll have a look and I'll let you know. But we're on our way down there now. We're 70, 78 miles away. So we have one restrictions, 33, 33 ton weight limit. I've never seen a 33 ton, 33 ton weight limit. What all that's about, but it's the way we came in, so I can't see even a weight limit on the way back out. So we'll go have a quick look. diesel at the moment it's going to be 60 hour before packing up so we'll um, we'll go sort that in the morning get the box got to go get a card in the morning as well so we've got to go in there get a card get the box on and over to hold for quarter past eight and find somewhere to get diesel <laughs> but yeah it's just coming up to half past three now by the time i get over there we needed a break now then we're going to mess about getting guarded. I've just run out of time about finding anywhere good to park, so we'll cut the loss and we'll get it on in the morning. Alright, now we try the elusive search of finding the bloody lay-by. First one was closed, second one's full. Three mile to getting off. So let's hope we can get in one, but I'm not I'm not anticipating much. I think this is gonna be a struggle. 
going to be a struggle. Which is about right for this country. It's only half past two and four. We're struggling to find somewhere to park up eventually. Oh dear me. Typical by the squeezed in entry in front. Oh, that's annoying. That is annoying. You just can't tell them whether they're full or not. I'll commit to the next one no matter what, I think. Let's see what's what. We'll see what's what. Let's just hope that there is another one. Yeah, there is another one in half a mile. transporter might go in this go you see so we might have to pull up to the front which would be nice try and get this in best we can if I could tuck this in here I'd be happy at that I think we're gonna do it even got room to pull it over a bit more as well just to tuck it in a little bit I think this lad in front is going to be here for the night actually. Just with how his wheels turned inwards towards the lay-by. Makes me think he's in for night. That's alright. So we've got in. And we're just going to straighten up. And we're good to go. Just on the curb a little bit just to tuck it in. Bikes, we'll make sure we leave enough room for this to be on. That'll do us. Lad, lad behind can get out at that, and if there's any room in front, any room in the morning, if I need to get back, I can still get back at that because no it's going to get between us. So, that's a day over. Oh, first day back done, <laughs> eventually. So I'll get off and end this day here and uh, get settled and ready for tomorrow morning. Um, it'll be 11 hours off tonight, which is bonus. That's a bonus. Um, we'll be looking at starting at four o'clock in the morning. Oh, is this lad in front going? He's just fired up. Well, his lights have just come on. Well, if he's going, if he's if he pulls off now, I'm laughing here. This would be fun. <laughs> this will be nice. This will be nice. But I'll get off anyway and end this here. And if he does move, I'll put clipping of him moving off and we us pulling up. So until uh, till tomorrow's video, I'll see you guys later on.